At the same time, former Harambe Stars captain Dennis the Menace Oliech has called on the Kenya Football Federation to treat football legends better if Kenya is to achieve any milestones in football. Oliech was the only football legend from Kenya at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in the Ivory Coast, as other countries sent their former football stars to the competition as ambassadors. Oliech was part of the football guests of mobile phone company Techno, who organized a charity match to raise additional funds to build 100 football fields in Africa. Our very own Michael Kinney with the details. Take a listen. The Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast has attracted tens of former Africa football stars on various duties during the tournament. Some are working as analysts while some are guests of the Confederation of Africa Football CAF and their partners. This is where Kenyan legend Dennis Oliech found himself spending time with the likes of JJ Okocha of Nigeria, Asamoah Gyan of Ghana, El Haji Diof of Senegal and Emmanuel Adebayo of Togo among others. Oliech was a star of the show in the Africa Legends match organized by Techno. Techno has put a budget of $150 million, roughly 24 billion Kenya shillings over the next five years to build 100 football fields in Pan-African countries. For every goal scored in the Legends match, the company put an additional $10,000 in the project. Oliet scored two goals with one assist to help his team win 3-2. The Legends were joined by selected guests and journalists across Africa in the charity match. Playing in the afternoon heat definitely took a toll on most of us. You've not played football in a long time. But what matters most is a charity event that has raised $50,000 to construct pitches across Africa. Kujenga Wanja, hiyo ni kitu ya Federation na FIFA. Hawa na saidia maybe two sponsorship unelewa. Maybe, maybe ni kama club. Maybe na hope techno, maybe ni waneza sponsor team kama Gore. Unelewa team kama FC. We unelewa. Oli says he's delighted to be among so many African legends, though he was embarrassed to answer some of the questions from his peers. I feel happy, but when I lose two swali moja sayote, umekuja kama federation, baka ni naskebu kuambia ni techno. So how I do when you are a legend to maliza ball, unenda kwa federation, unasaidia the youth. But sisi yetu ni tafauti, legend unacho inje. Oliech was impressed by Ivory Coast, a country that has a gross domestic product of $79 billion as compared to Kenya's GDP of $279 billion at the end of 2023. Despite the huge difference, they have managed to build world-class stadia for AFCON despite not having proper football infrastructure at the grassroots level. <laughs> Poverty ko high, unelewa. We si kama sisi Kenya unambua ti, oh, usome utakuwa si jum dosi wa nini mdosi wa siyo, uku wakuna. Uku anajua is two things, football na maji kutoa wendo fanya job binge. He's now calling on all stakeholders to join forces to speed up the preparations for AFCON 2027 to be hosted by Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya. Nimekua na msawa FIFA metuambia we have to be ready. Uh, we have to be ready in the next two years. If you're not ready, I, I go quit too. believes that things must be done differently, especially at the heart of Kenyan football, the Kenya Football Federation. He wants to be part of that change in the leadership of the federation. To me, next election, to go to ballot in the box, to go to Mtukama Marish, to go to Eusein, na kuna Mimi. So to go to Hoses Watatu. Either moja wetu ni atasimama ama tuta join water. So maybe ndo kitu watu wajui, but atuwezi wachilia hii time yende. The federation elections are slated for later in the year with several candidates already throwing their heart in the ring. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV.